As modern field geologists, there are a wide range of tools that we can use to collect and record structural measurements in the field. This includes the traditional compass clinometer, including the silver type, which is commonly used in Europe, for instance, and the Brunton type, which is more commonly used in North America, as an example. We can use these compasses to collect sort of analog data and record it in our field notebook, which is the traditional way that geologists have worked for many, many decades. More recently, there have been development of apps such as the Field Move app, as well as many others, which work on smartphones or tablets. These apps use the magnetometer, gyroscope, and accelerometer within um, standard devices in order to make the same strike and dip or other structural measurements as we can do with a traditional compass clinometer. Photogrammetry is the development of three-dimensional mesh surfaces from a series of images. These can be taken either using a standard camera or from a drone. And advances in drone technology and the fact that drones are much more readily available means that photogrammetry is now a very popular tool in geology and extremely useful for digitizing data sets and making 3D virtual outcrops. And this is just one website, but an excellent website called eROC, which comes from the University of Aberdeen, where they have a series of 3D outcrops, including some really classic locations, such as Broadhaven in um, Wales, Laxford Bridge, which is one of the most um, famous outcrops that we have in the UK, some of the oldest rocks that we have in the UK. And these models are three-dimensional stitched series of photographs showing a geological outcrop. Now, as this one, which I'm showing you right now, is a road cut, it's a fairly flat surface, but we can do the same thing from um, much more three-dimensional structures. So this is a, an area in Cornwall around Bude where we have a lovely series of folded rocks which have been stitched together using drone technology. The advantage of using this remote sensing or manipulation of three-dimensional digitized outcrops is because when we cannot go in the field, so for instance when there's a pandemic or perhaps when we're going to very inaccessible places, if we cannot get in the field for various other reasons, we might have a disability, it might not be financially feasible to go in the field. There's a whole range of reasons why we might not be able to go. Perhaps we want to use this on another planet where it's not very easy to get to. So there are a huge number of advantages for digitizing data sets from these three dimensional outcrops. With the increasing number of virtual field trips, the use of virtual reality, of these three-dimensional digitized data sets and of remote sensing is really important. This is another model that I'm just showing you, which is, um, again, from Bude in Cornwall. This is from a different website called V3Geo. Here, there are digitized three-dimensional models from geology outcrops from all over the world. So it's really worth checking out. And what we can um, get a sense of exploring this model is really you know, being in the field. It makes you feel like you can uh, manipulate and explore the rocks. And um, as well as this, what we can do with these three-dimensional models is we can collect geological data from them. So in the, in the future, we can use a really innovative combination of going into the field, collecting our own field data, but if uh, in either as a supplement to that or as an alternative to that, we can collect digital data sets from these fantastic 3D outcrops that we have today.